All right, guys, it's still March 8th. Um, this just earlier today, we were uh, doing some soil sampling, as uh, you guys probably know. It's uh, 20 to 9 p.m. local time. And uh, Blair, unfortunately, must have been hauling his tracked unit down a back road at night, and it's it's really hard to know where to go sometimes because the GPS will take you down pretty much all the wrong roads. Anyway, he's stuck. So we're gonna go, and I, I thought that we could get him with a truck, but I'm told that we cannot. So we're just gonna take the word for it, and we're just gonna go hop in this Fent 720, and we're gonna figure out where he is because he dropped the pin, and we're gonna go pull him out. And uh, I don't think he wants to do any YouTubing. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that we're gonna do YouTubing. But before we do that, we're bubbling tanks here. This is liquid fertilizer and there's some snow supposed to be coming, so we're thinking we're gonna dribble a little bit out. Um, Mike, I thought you didn't use liquid fertilizer anymore. Well, we don't, but we still have some in tanks. So it needs to go away. Like it needs, it can't just sit there forever. So what we're doing is uh, it settles out. So you can get like sludge at the bottom of the sludge at the bottom of these tanks um, if they sit for a year or so. So you gotta run an air compressor on them. You guys can't see this very good, but you gotta bubble it. We'll see if we can go around here to the other side and see if you can hear it bubbling. I'm just going around. Don't panic. I know it's dark. I'm gonna put my ear on the back side of this tank. See if you guys can hear it. Could you guys hear that bubbling that was going on? So we're bubbling these tanks is what we're doing, okay? So we're just gonna shut off our air compressor here. Now that we're done that, we're gonna go find this 720. And uh, right there. And we're gonna go warm it up. So now that everything's running, uh, we're just gonna let it warm up a little bit. And of course we have to have fuel. Uh. All right, we're just putting some fuel in. And I see some snowflakes. Shoot, I see some snowflakes. Look at the flurries. It's snowing. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to get a lot, but uh, maybe 10 centimeters or something like that. All right, we're gonna hit the road. We gotta go about, uh, not very far, eight, 10 miles or something like that. Maybe a little farther actually, but anyways, we're gonna, we're gonna go pull them out. I tried washing my window a little bit here. Uh, I think it's just a little more streaky now. So anyway, got, uh, we got our uh, monitor on night mode. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Um, um, don't like this. It's supposed to be spring, you guys. Come on. What you hear is actually, uh, this is a dirt road we're going down. And uh, the tires are uh, spewing dirt because the, the moisture and the snow is actually making the dirt get wet and sticky and it's throwing dirt all over the place. So it's throwing it forward and then I'm running into it. No, not that, that's actually snow, but that's, you can't hear snow hit a window. It just melts on contact, hence the melting on contact. If you hear anything, it's dirt and rocks coming off my tires. And I've already taken a window out. See, it kind of comes in spurts, but I've already taken a window out. Well, I didn't. I met a semi and he hocked up a rock and it blew out the window. Don't even get me going that these windows should be freaking laminated. Just saying, it should be an industry standard in everything. So I was looking at the pin drop that he sent me and um, pretty sure I know exactly where he is. Um, and uh, yeah, that road would not be cleared yet. It'd be pretty muddy. But you know what guys, that's not his fault. Um, he's not from around here. He doesn't know the areas. Every area has roads that you can get down. Some are all weather roads, all season roads. Even this one, that we're going down right now, this is not an all season road. This is a main road, yes, but not all season. This thing will block right solid in, with winter or snow or even when it gets muddy. Um, it's not it's not fully graveled. So uh, you can't blame Blair because he's not from around here and he, he's just trying to find the fields and get as close as he can to them, I guess. 
makes sense. I would do the exact same thing. And uh, he went down a road he probably shouldn't have. But uh, that's no big deal. We all get stuck. It comes with the nature of agriculture and Saskatchewan. Oh, heck, everybody gets stuck all over the place. You, uh, you, you guys all know what's about getting stuck. You get stuck in the mud, you get stuck in the sand, you get stuck in the snow. You can get stuck on ice. So anyway, I needed a good excuse to take the 720 here for a little drive drive. And this was the one that I needed. Though I am thinking with the amount of snow that's happening right now, you might want to uh, pack it up and get out of these dirt roads and out of this country here before, he, uh, before I have to pull them all the way to the highway. That's kind of what I'm thinking. What worries me is it just turned on another road. I would think I would have seen him by now. So that's concerning. Pretty sure I know where he is, but uh, it would suck if he was on the complete other end of the farm. If my uh, if that pin was to somehow goof up, which you know technology that never that never happens. That would be very unfortunate. Getting my tractor dirty. All that noise you hear, it's not me. Well, it might be me. It's dirt and rocks hitting my tractor. And presto, I see lights. See, there's still some snow on this road. Oh, that was rough. Oh, and it's been melting, it's warm, and it makes it really muddy. A little water, a little mud here. Ooh. Got some mud splattered on my window. That was definitely a bad spot. So now the trick is to figure out is it worse to go back the way he came? Or is it worse to go the direction that I came? Well, we should probably get out and evaluate the situation. Now, he could have still left somewhere with his uh, with his rig there, but... I think you're stuck! I think it's muddy! Yeah, it's muddy. So, how... How much mud did you have to come through? I just had to come through a little ways, That's, maybe just up the hill there. This is going to be a better That's rate. the best route to go? Yeah. Are you just... I, I stopped before I got too bad. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> hey, you could at least taken the rig somewhere. Worst case scenario, you wouldn't be stranded, but it'd just be kind of slow. Well, I got thinking, I'm like, well, I could maybe try and pull this up there, but I'm like, <laughs> the hill and I don't know what Just have to hook, you should have reversed it. Hook the trailer to that thing. And then drove your diesel up on top and you would have just walked yourself oh, yes. walked yourself right out of here. <laughs> hey, I knew which road you were on, and it's not your fault, because uh you didn't know this road would be bad. I knew this road would be bad, but you didn't know that, and that's understandable. No worries. So here's the thing. Okay. Um I don't know if you know this on our farm, but uh I know you don't like to be video right now, it just bothers you probably, but we always video people who get stuck, so that... <laughs> I, I would do the same. <laughs> um, we ha on our farm, we have a stuck pot. Okay. And uh, how it is, is everybody puts in $20 up front, and then it's always $5 per stuck after that. Fair. And then the person with the most stucks uh, loses, and that is, he has to clean the bathroom at the end of the year. That's kind of how ours works. The shop bathroom, that can be pretty bad. That's a once a year project. That's a once a year project, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the person with the least amount of stucks wins the pot. So my only, uh, my only fee for coming down here is actually just 20 bucks to go into the farm stuck pot. Is that fair? Or? That is more than fair. That is, that is fair. That is, that is the first contribution into our stuck pot in 2021 because <laughs> you are officially our first stuck of the year. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> and this is going to be fun. I'll just, uh, I actually brought a toe strap. Oh, okay. 
and I'll just uh, wheel the tractor around here. Okay. And uh, we'll get you hooked up and we'll go north. All right. Let's just back up here. It's pretty sloppy out there. Boy, look at that, eh? It's a mud hole out here. Do I have a pin? I hope I do. I should have a pin somewhere. Right there? Yeah. All right, Blair, you ready to rock and roll? Okay, let's go. Oh, this is a soup hole. My tractor is officially muddy. Look at that floor. It's only getting worse, guys. I got mud squeaking between my toes right now. Park brake off. So I'm just going to keep pulling them up this hill a little ways. It's kind of my plan. as we get to the top of that hill. Actually, there's a mud hole there. We're going to keep going. Because if I let him go and he gets stuck again, then he's got to fork out another five dollars for the next. <laughs> Almost there, I think. Okay, I think that this is probably good. I think so. It should be good. Worst case scenario, he has to pay another five bucks. Should be good now, Blair. I like this better. Oh yeah, this it should be this way the rest of the way. Yeah. Oh yeah, and the other thing is is uh, the guy who gets stuck always has to roll the strap. That's what we thought too. <laughs> and I'm not setting you up. There's no mud spot up at the other end. I'm I am I'm 95. No, I'm 95 percent sure you're good to go. That's true. I'll be right in front of you anyways. I like to call this the rolling scrap of shame. <laughs> oh man, thanks for being such a good sport, Blair. I really do appreciate it. You're awesome. <laughs> Throw our strap in here. And I gave him good directions to get to the rest of the fields here. Oh. And we'll get out of his way. 
I guess just turn the park brake off. That always helps. See if I can't drive in the ditch here so he can get by me. He's a cool guy. All right, guys, that's it for now, unless he gets stuck again, in which case he has to contribute another $5. So you guys have yourself a good one. Yeah, I'm back because actually on the same field where he got stuck, somewhere out here there should be three... Where it's gotta be right around here somewhere. Well, maybe they're over here. Should be three grain bags that we rolled up. And I'm like, well, why don't I take them home with me? There they are. Right there. See that? I already nicely stacked them there. I actually gotta take the stuff out of my uh, loader here first. I got questions. Yeah, I figured you would. Um, why are these bags just sitting in the middle of the field? Well, I've been picking. Well, we first we rolled them, as you guys would know. If, you guys watched that video if you haven't watched that video scroll back and you can actually see how we make these puppies and how we roll them and then I nicely stacked them here ready to get loaded on a trailer and I thought I was gonna come back down with the trailer and because these are the last three and I guess I didn't I come back down here so uh, let's take that chain off and grab our strap and grab these puppies and take them back with us sounds like a plan sounds like a plan so let's open up this grapple I'm gonna try to get all three at the same time. It's harder if they're not the same size rolls. That is where it gets challenging. Problem is, I did not get that other one. Put them back down. Back up. OP OP. So I'm gonna have to push them together. Try to squish them together a little bit more. Oh I'm already fairly fairly tight. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and do this with them. There we go, we're just gonna push them together here. I need them as close together as possible. Right there. Let's try this again. need so if I can't see the problem is is the bags are actually hard to puncture so it's hard for me to get that one spear deep enough into that big bag to get these other spears deep enough into the other little bags to hold them make sense make sense so I'm just gonna try and grapple them like this basically I'm just gonna try and go around the bag grapple it like this and then just rotate them up Okay, that's what my plan is here. Just like that. So that way they're actually sitting in my bucket and I'm just kind of holding them down on their end. There we go, guys. Now we can go home. So I just want to say thanks, guys, for uh, hanging out with me. Um, you guys are freaking awesome. I don't know if you guys have uh, checked out the website yet, but if you haven't, check it out. It talks a little bit about me, who I am, and all that sort of stuff. You can buy some merch if you want to, unless we're seeding now, I'm not sure, because we kind of made a bit of a deadline where you had to stop buying it because we had a place in order, and uh, yeah, basically we were going to be packaging your guys' order and trying to ship them out when we're seeding, and that's just not practical. It's actually impossible for us to do because uh, farming has to come first. So if you missed the deadline, don't panic, don't worry, there will be another opportunity, probably uh, once we're nearing the end of seeding, um, we'll probably look at uh, opening it up again, and uh, yes, we do have uh, lots of hopes and amb ambitions to bring you uh, lots of different unique and cool stuff, and uh, we are open to suggestions, um, we do like high quality, uh, locally made, and uh, unfortunately our prices do have to reflect that a little bit, but... Um, 
it is what it is. Now I can't see the road, clearly cannot see the road. How am I supposed to do 37 miles an hour and I can't see the road? So I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna put the link to the website in the description of this video, but it is www.faithhopefarms.com. So again, it's www.faithhopefarms.com. All right, adios amigos.